Hello, fourth and fifth graders, Mr. Vasek here. Today, we'll review for music memory this one right here called Pyrgin Suite Number no. One in the Hall of the Mountain King by Grieg. That's one we're reviewing. It's a fun one. I know you'll like it. Now, last time I did a body percussion canon, remember? You did something four beats after me. Let's start. I start, and four beats after me, you start right away. I'm gonna go on to the next one. Here I go. One. Your turn. Now, let's do it two beats apart. Here I go. Ready, go. One, two. job. We could do it with words now. Here's the song. We're not going to sing it, just say the words. The words go, ah, oh, poor bird, take your flight far above the sorrows of this sad night. And the beats are grouped in four. So let me do four beats and you be my echo. So it goes like this, ah, oh, poor bird, take your flight. Far above the sorrows of this sad night. Now the first phrase, the third one, I mean, far above the sorrows of. Let's do that again, my turn. Far above the sorrows of. That's going to be the hard one to say. Okay, this time. You're going to be four beats after me. I'm going to keep on going to the next one. So here I go. Ah, oh, poor bird, take your flight far above the sorrows of this sad night. How'd it go? All right, you can work on that. Now, last time we were together, we talked about the Do tetrachord. Remember that? Okay, that means it's the first four sounds of the major scale. Tetra means four. Chord means string. They're strung together like beads on a string, no gaps, right? So, like this one, do, re, mi, fa, right? We know that it's one, two, three, four in the key of C. C, D, E, F. You have to know that do to re. Whole step, re to me, whole step, me to fa, half step. And hopefully you know what whole steps and half steps are. For instance, on the piano keyboard, if I start with C, C to D, that's called a whole step. And you know why? Because C to C sharp is a half step, and C sharp to D is another half step. Two half steps make a whole step. So C to D, whole step, D to E, whole step. E to F, that's a half step. These two white keys are right next to each other. Now, we talked about the intervals, the distance, and what they're called. The first one we said, Do to Re, is a second because there's two of them involved. But what kind of second? Is it a major second or minor? Major means big, minor means small. And we said that it was a major second because it was a whole step. So on the keyboard, again, Bum, C to D, major second. If I take this one and flat it and go C to D flat, that's called a minor second, smaller. But in this scale, we don't have a minor second, we have a major second. C to D, major second. All right, now the next one was Do to Mi. One, two, three, it's a third. What kind? Is it a major one, a big one, or a minor one? And we discussed that we called this one Do to Me Major Third because it's two whole steps apart. Two whole steps makes it a major third. All right, now on the keyboard, look at it. Here it is C to E, Do to Me. Whole step, another whole step. If I took this third E and I flat it to E flat, C to E flat, now it's a minor third because it's smaller, all right? But in this scale, we don't have a minor third. From Do, we have Do to 
sorry, this one. Do to me, major third. Now the next one, do to fa, we called it a fourth, and fourths are perfect when they are right in the major scale of a whole step, whole step, half step. All right, now all of these intervals, you should also know how many half steps are in each one. Like if I say, do to re, you'll burn any half steps. Well, it's a whole step, and a whole step is made up of two half steps, right? Mm -hmm. Do to me, how many half steps is that? Well, whole step and whole step, that would be two half steps, another two half steps, so four half steps. Do to fa, five half steps, right? Or whole step, right? Now, I also talked about the do tetratone, four, but here we have a skip. Do, re, mi, so, there's a skip, we're skipping the fourth degree. Like, Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. Now, today we're just going to add one more sound to the tetrachord, and it becomes a pentachord. The next sound, do, re, mi, fa, so, is just a whole step away from the fourth degree. And we have a new interval to learn, do, to, so, and that's a perfect fifth. A perfect fifth is the fifth degree in a major scale. If you go from one, you go whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, you'll get the perfect fifth. Or how many half steps is that? We know this is two, two is four, five, six, seven. So it's seven half steps. If you look on the keyboard, it would be like from C. C, one, two, three, four, five, all the way to G. And if you counted the half steps, you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or you go whole step, whole step, half step, whole step. Bum, bum. Now, there is a do pentatone. This is something we already studied, right? Do, re, mi, skip, so, la. And you know that one already. Okay, so what songs do you know in this one? The bo do pentachord. Well, we know che, che, cule. Che che kule, che che kofinza, kofinza langa, ke ke shi langa, kum adende, kum adende. Hey, it ends up on high do. All right, there's one interval I forgot to say last time, and this was. When you go from do to do, it's the same sound, right? Do to do, it's called the unison. And unisons are perfect intervals. Do to do, unison means uni means one, sun means sound, unison, one sound, same sound. So do to do, perfect unison. All right, next we're gonna go into our Gold Rush songs. We have two songs that we're gonna do. And the first one, is going to be called Oh My Darling Clementine. And here are the words for it. If I show it to you, do a screenshot of it. Mm -hmm. So, it's about a little young girl named Clementine who unfortunately died. And there's the refrain that comes back all the time after each verse. The refrain is this Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling Clementine, you are lost and gone forever, dreadful sorry Clementine. First verse. In a cavern, in a canyon, excavating for a mine, lived a miner, 49er, and his daughter Clementine. Oh, my darling, Oh, my darling, oh, my darling Clementine, you are lost and gone forever, dreadful sorry Clementine. Light she was and like a fairy, and her shoes were number nine. Herring boxes without topses, sandals were for Clementine. Oh, my darling. Sing that part. Okay, next one. 
Drove she ducklings to the water Every morning just at nine Stubbed her toe upon a splinter Fell into the foaming brine Oh my darling, oh my darling Oh my darling Clementine You were lost and gone forever Dreadful sorry Clementine Last verse Ruby lips above the water, blowing bubbles soft and fine. But alas, I was no swimmer, so I lost my Clementine. Oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling Clementine. You were lost and gone forever, dreadful sorry Clementine. Now, I think you probably understand all the words to this song. There's one that goes out here. Drove she ducklings to the water every morning at nine. And she stubbed a toe upon a splinter and fell into the foaming brine. The brine is the water, the salt water. Sometimes they're using water to excavate, to dig. And there's big ponds and lakes. So she drowned, unfortunately. Sad story. Okay, the other one is called Sweet Betsy from Pike, and she's traveling across, going to California with her husband, Ike. And that's what it looks like. For those who don't have the music, maybe fifth graders, you might remember this. And um, here is the first page. Let's see if we can do it like that. Okay, first page. And then in the back, I have the rest. Okay, let's take a picture of it. All right, so here it goes. There's a refrain that comes back. It's like the chorus that repeats. Here we go. Oh, don't you remember sweet Betsy from Pike? She crossed the wide prairies with her husband Ike With two yoke of oxen, an old yellow dog A tall Shanghai rooster and one spotted hawk Toodaly, toodaly, singing toodaly, toodaly, toodaly. Verse two. One evening, quite early, they camped on the plat. Twas near by the road on a green shady flat. Poor Betsy, quite tired, lay down for repose. And I sat and gazed at his Pike County Road. Toodaly, toodaly, singing toodaly, toodaly, toodaly. They soon reached the desert where Betsy gave out And down in the sand she lay rolling about While Ike in great tears looked on in surprise Said Betsy, get up, you'll get sand in your eyes Toodaly, toodaly Singing toodaly, toodaly, toodaly ran off and the oxen all died the last piece of bacon that morning was fried poor I got discouraged and Betsy got mad the dog wagged his tail and looked awfully sad toodaly toodaly singing toodaly 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 Number five, a little slower, even slower. The Alcala Desert was burning and hot, and I he decided to leave on the spot. My dear old Pike County, I'll go back to you. Said Betsy, you'll go by yourself if you do. Toodaly, to 
Singing to the li to the li to the li Last one. They swam the wide rivers, they crossed the tall peaks, they camped out on prairies for weeks and for weeks, fought hunger and rattlers in the big storms of dust, determined to reach California or bust. Toodaly, toodaly, singing toodaly, toodaly, toodaly. That's the end. All right, have a great Gold Bush, fourth graders. See you next time. Goodbye.